Okay, so Jimmy, I think I may have found the perfect motivator for you to get out, train for, and run your first 5K. I doubt it, but go ahead. <laughs> what if I told you chocolate? There is chocolate. And I'm not talking about a little bit of chocolate. I'm talking about a lot of chocolate. Can we get rid of the whole race thing? The five <laughs> thing and just go straight to the chocolate? Let's... I don't think they no. can do that. No. But for those who like their victories nice and sweet, the Delaware Technical Community College's chocolate 5K run is just for you. Delmarva Life Sydney Whitfield stopped by the Terry campus to learn what it's all about and how students are even benefiting from it. Running a 5K in cold weather may not be for everyone, but if you add chocolate to the mix, it'll probably draw in a good crowd. That's the idea behind the Chocolate 5K Run held by Delaware Technical Community College. On February 10th, registered participants will run or walk the 5K course on campus. When the race is done, there's a big celebration with lots of handmade chocolate treats. So this is an amazing event that we have, have on campus. We've had for the past five years over 600 runners, walkers, and folks that just come out for the chocolate, lots of families, and everyone's eager to come back, participate year after year because of the spirit of the event. It's for a great cause for study abroad and our global understanding series on campus, but it's also a great deal of fun. Lisa says the race raises funds to go towards scholarships for two dynamic educational programs. We have two components. So the first is the Global Understanding Series, which are a series of on-campus events that we host for the community, for our students and staff um, to help broaden their cultural awareness. And then we also have the international ed component that sends students abroad for a short-term study abroad to give them an experience in another country. She says volunteering students are also eligible for other scholarships on campus too. Every year we give out 10 scholarships from our campus, but there are other scholarships available through different funding and different programs at the campus for study abroad. And one of the requirements that the students have as a part of receiving the scholarships is donating hours back in time. So we have students that will be helping to prepare the chocolate behind the scenes, setting up, cleaning up, and then one of the great aspects of this event is that there are going to be a number of volunteers, student volunteers, who will get to interact with the participants in the race. And the kitchen here at Delaware Tech is empty now, but come the day of, dozens of students will be here volunteering their time for the big day. Chef Ed Hennessy is the instructional director of the Culinary Arts Program. As the head supervisor, he says he looks forward to the event every year because it's a good learning opportunity for his students. This is just a lot of fun because we get so many students involved. You know, we have over 100 students in the Culinary Arts Program. And in, at this campus alone. So they are all interested if they can find that time to get in here either the week ahead practicing and preparing food and then the day of when we're serving. If you're planning on coming out, he says to bring your sweet tooth because they're working with loads of chocolate. We'll use approximately 80 pounds of good rich chocolate just to make the ganache that goes into the sauce. And we need 20, 25 quarts of heavy cream for that. The uh, cocoa, we make 25 gallons at least of cocoa, and that's going to take 100 pounds of cocoa and another 20 quarts of heavy cream. And then we make our homemade marshmallows. And I don't even want to tell you how much sugar is in that. It's crazy. Even though it's a lot of work, Chef Ed says his favorite part about the 5K is the fact that it's just as fun as it is rewarding. It's a lot of fun. The students get into it. Our students come in and help and they do a lot of the baking. And then the day of, it's just a big assembly line and all our students are here sending out the food and it's, it's a lot of fun. So whether you're a runner, a walker, or just a chocolate lover, the Chocolate 5K Run at Delaware Tech is sure to be a sweet victory for everyone. What do you think? I think you could do it. The Chocolate 5K is open to runners and walkers. You can walk, right? I can sit and just eat chocolate. <laughs> I tell you what, it's February 10th at the Terry campus in Dover. Right. So I think you could do it. WBOC is a proud sponsor of the event. So you have it in there. Maybe you could get some chocolate, but I really think you need to, you need to. I think I could do it. I think I could make it. Yeah. Oh, cross the finish line. Cross On, the finish line. Oh, so you're talking about the chocolate again.